<laughs> What's up everybody? My name is Paul. And I'm Luke. And I'm Matthew Moore. And we're Twin Sauce and today we're at World of Fun celebrating Grand Carnival. Grand Carnival is a special summer event celebrating several cultures from all around the world. It's happening, well it started on July 13th and it goes to August 4th. So join us on this adventure. Let's go check it out. Does that hurt? A little bit. A little bit? <laughs> That's my job. So we're here at Grand Carnival, they have an adventure club challenge where you go to each of the countries and you, there's a little challenge you have to do. So the countries are India, Germany, China, France, and Italy. And um, in India, I had to find this Mandela and um, in the Mandela was a little flag for Germany and once you find out that the Germany Thing is hidden in the Mandela here. You go over to Germany and find out what you have to do in Germany. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's go. So here in Germany, she gave me this card and you have to find out which composer this is and there's a series of music boxes you have to listen to and find out what song is composed by this composer. Ooh. Who happens to be Beethoven. Oh, yikes. So I already figured that out. We didn't know that. We, we figured it no, out. we figured it out. <laughs> I just guessed. Yeah, okay. Alright, so there is your stamp. And here's your clue to your next country. Thank you. Yay, China! Is this your favorite store? No, it's my favorite store. You know why? Would you like to see? Would you like to see why it's my favorite store? Uh, yes. And yes. And yes. And yes. And yes. And yes. You didn't get to Zelda. Oh, and yes. I just thought it was getting annoying, so I stopped. You are going to be spinning around these Chinese locks. There are five symbols you're looking for, and um, it is in some kind of pattern. Oh, yeah, but oh. oh. It's a fortune cookie. Next up is the boot. Italy. Oh, this is fun. Are you enjoying it? Yes. You like these puzzles? <laughs> puzzles are fun. <laughs> yeah. I really liked the uh, that puzzle game because it was like having to figure codes out. I wasn't really doing any work. It was Matthew and Luke that were doing the work. Not me. And my initial thought was right, which I'm not going to give you away the, the keys to the code. You'll have to do it yourself. But my initial idea was correct, but at first we didn't know how to use the lock, I think, and we just weren't putting things in the right area. <laughs> oh, Those hidden letters and scramble them and use them to make the word of where you guys are going next. We've got a stalker. Oh no, yes. Oh yes. <laughs> In the clock that has the correct time that it is in Paris, France. So I can tell out. you they are seven hours ahead of us. Seven hours ahead of us? Okay, but it'd be 1 a.m. So yeah. 124. 124. 124. Okay. Yay! That was easy. <laughs> there is your stamp. Oh, and this is going to be your next country. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. You've been to all of them. All of them. So we've done all of them. That's all it. Right, that means you guys have earned your ultimate adventure club badges. Oh, oh that's exciting. Good. <laughs> all right. So. Oh, so exciting. I know. I'm going to put this on that trunk <laughs> in our house. This is our whole so thing. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. <laughs> okay, that was like my favorite thing. <laughs> oh gosh. It's just fun to like explore. Yeah. And we got our adventure badge. I'm so shook. At each country of the five countries, you have craft stations. So you can make like uh, Eiffel Tower. There's like uh, lanterns, uh, like paper lanterns you can design and make in China. I think it's really cool that they're employing so many performers because that's something that like these performers don't have day jobs that they just go, I mean, they probably do because there's not enough work for them. So this is a cool way to employ, em yeah, employ like performers, like circus performers, dancers, actors, stilts, people, stuff like that. It's just cool to see all that here at the parks. to travel you can scan the little barcode which will take you to a link to enter a little bit of information and you could be registered to win a travel package giveaway oh thank you <laughs> Thank you, so much. <laughs> Thank you guys. So one thing I haven't really talked that much about is food. So here at Grand Carnival, they've got a couple different food booths, five to be specific. And if you, you can pay like a thirty dollar fee, and or you can just buy things individually. But at the thirty dollars, you get six items of from the five different vendors. So each vendor has about two, two different items, and then some like beverages that are local to each country that you're in, which is really cool. And the chefs have worked really hard to prepare these, and they're really neat. And to end the night, we're going to watch the Spectral of Color Carnival. Never mind, I don't know. That's all I had. That's all you had planned? That's all, all I had. had. To the parade. <laughs> no, to end the night, we're going to be watching uh, the parade for Grand Carnival, and it's a spectacle of color. It's pretty cool stuff. We're going to dance and stuff. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Get your dancing shoes on. Put your dancing shoes on. Matthew, do you have your dancing shoes on? Oh, <laughs> no. Do not. I don't know where my dancing shoes are. Oh, and the trash can? <laughs> <laughs> when you're standing around waiting for a parade and you haven't ridden a ride all day. <laughs> they also have a hot air balloon. I saw it yes last time when we were up on, on a roller coaster, but we didn't see it fly away. But on our drive in today, we saw it getting set up. So we're pretty excited. I'm excited about that. When, when, does, that, when does that happen? Do you know? I think it's at the end of the parade, but I wasn't looking for it before. But I saw that online that they said that, and I was like, I did see a hot air balloon. I just didn't see it flying. to the end of the parade row, which is the main plaza entrance, but there's a bandstand there and they have a DJ and a dance that you can be a part of, which is a pretty cool like ending to a parade. traffic by going around the back but here's the hot air balloon
shoes that you didn't have your dance shoes on. I don't. <laughs> oh, I, I think I saw some dancing shoes. Cloak on now. Oh, yeah, is that what it is? It's a dancing cloak. It's his wings of dance. Oh, I, oh. okay. <laughs> Are they majestic though? So, we don't know what happened to the hot air balloon, but it was right here, and then they started the concert, and it was no longer there. We saw it like getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then it was gone. But there was no announcement. We were there the whole time. Did it go off when we were filming and just miss it? Maybe. But nobody reacted if that's the case. Yeah, yeah, I don't think anybody saw it if they did. Well, that's it for tonight. Um, we hope you enjoyed the Grand Carnival here at Worlds of Fun. It was a whole lot of fun for us. If you can make it before uh, August 4th, um, definitely do that. Maybe they'll do it again next year. It was super it was super fun. It was the most attended night so far. So, far. so, so that was really fun. Step in the right direction. Yeah, what did fun. you guys think? That was really, really fun. That was good. The cast was really into it. It was a high attended night, so it was really fun. Yeah. 10 out of 10, best new Grand Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> and Matthew got his dancing shoes on, so you know it's fun. Anyway, we'll see you guys in another Dancing video. Dancing, sorry. We'll Dancing talk to you guys in another video. Don't die, bye. bye. bye.